Hello everyone, my name is Walter Whittington the, the, the third, and today we're going out exploring in the in the hills up north with the, with the creatures and the yetis are. So I'm gonna get in my car now, and in fact I'm going to buy a new car. I think something a bit more rugged, and we're gonna go out and explore the great outdoors. This vehicle will do. Right, I need to get myself some gas. Okay guys, if you didn't catch that, I'm playing as Walter Whittington. I've had a bit of an update to the character. Um, he looks a lot younger and trendier now, to be fair. But the reason for that is because I actually couldn't modify the character that I was using for him. For complicated reasons that I can't be bothered to explain. So uh, I had to go in there and make a new character for him, just so I could change the clothing, which was fun. I'm going to put my old car away now, which is the Taurus here. And then we're going to go grab some supplies and go out into the wilderness. And I think this could be fun. I'm a very old man going out into the hills on my own. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so obviously I don't recommend going in the outdoors on your own unless you know what you're doing. Um, but if you do, there's a few things you'll need. Firstly, probably a gun, considering where this state is. Might run into a few animals. A flare, that would definitely be recommended for search and rescue. Um, a supplies, you need food and drink. Unless you seriously know what you're doing. And uh, a map, and a compass, maybe. Map and compass, very important, so you actually know where the hell you're going. So that's what I'm going to go get now, and because I'm 101 years old, I am uh, driving very slowly in my new car. Because, well, it's a new car, I'm not used to it yet, plus I'm 101. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a 100-year-old driving the speed limit? I bet you've never seen it once. Really? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I haven't done anything. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. I'm just going to double check quickly. Does Walter... No, Walter doesn't have a record. That's that's good. Well, this cop just stopped a 101-year-old man. So, uh, yeah. He's going to have some fun. Oh, no. I've just thought of something. The picture on my ID won't match my character because I updated the character. Um... I might get arrested for identity theft about now. That's really... that's not at all good. I, I really hope this cop doesn't notice. That's genuinely a mistake, I didn't even think about that. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm just going to have to deal with it how it is. Let's see what he wants to say, but this could end well. Hey, you sir? Hello, young man. Hey, you going, sir? Oh, I'm uh, I'm just going into the wilderness, actually, officer. I I'm going to buy a map and a compass, and I'm gonna go and explore the great outdoors. <laughs> uh, okay, doc. So, do you have your license, registration, proof, of insurance on me? On you, my name's Deputy uh, Deputy Rainey with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. All right. Yeah, here you go, officer. My name's Walter. Uh, thank you, Walter. Any reason <laughs> the uh, the license plate in your vehicle wouldn't be coming back in our system? Yeah, I just bought this, like, not even ten minutes ago, to go exploring. 
I can exit, I can exit. That's just still going through the DMV, is it? Yeah, I've sent the paperwork off. I haven't. <laughs> That's totally fine. Do you have any, uh, do you have your proof of purchase or a receipt number from the DMV or anything like that? Just so I can cross check it? Uh, let me have a look here now. You have a look for that, sir. I'm just going to go check your details, alright? Okay. <laughs> so the good news is that um, I don't have a criminal record. The bad news is a 101-year-old bad boy about to be arrested for... Um, Identity fraud? I hope not. I really do hope not. But that really is a possibility. Oh, that'll suck. Okay, here he comes. With a dog in tow. <laughs> there you go, Walter. Oh, that's good. I found the paperwork, officer. You found the paperwork? Do you mind if I just have a look at that quickly? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Here you go. That's the sales you. receipt. Hold up. Oh, uh, spell that wrong. There you go. Valid receipt for vehicle data today from 68 Autos. Okay, uh, so this is looking uh, all in order for you. Here's your, uh, here's that paperwork back and here's your license. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's the new police bike. Okay, I am actually going to be giving you a citation, alright? Because the reason I pulled you over was that U-turn that, uh, that you completed just there, okay? I, I did it safely, officer. I slowed right down. I, I understand that, sir, but you can't really be doing an a uh, U-turn at an intersection, okay? But why you not? Could have easily just turned, <laughs> you could have easily just turned the corner to the left and uh, pulled straight into the parking lot, okay? No, I figured it wouldn't be that dangerous, given the, the low speed of the vehicle. I understand that, sir, but other drivers on the road and things like that don't know what you're doing, okay? Uh, I suppose. I gotta exit. If you can just sign on the bottom of some admission of guilt, just means you're gonna get it sorted out, okay? It's three points on your license and a hundred dollar citation. I wish I could, I could uh, change the points for you, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, that, that's okay. There you go. Signs with very shaky hands. Is that okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, that should be fine, sir. Walter, have you had anything to drink or anything like that today? No, oh, no, officer. I'm just 101 years old. Very, very old now. Oh, okay, do so. <laughs> oh, okay, so. uh, Do you think it's appropriate for you to be driving on the roadway? Yeah, it's fine. I've been driving for probably since you, before you were born. I first uh, I got my license that, before the First World War. I thought on the beaches of Agnes, Normandy. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, thank you for your service, sir. Are you able to uh, see this, the yellow sign that's on the door just in front of you? Oh, let me have a look. So there's one that says Fleeker. Fleeker, I think that's my bank. Uh, oh, the yellow one. That's uh, open all week. Can you read the whole sign for me? Yeah, sure. It's a rectangle. It says busy business uh, horse. No, no, that's not a horse. That's that's hours. Open all week, 24 horse. No, hours. <laughs> hey, hey, thank you all. Just one moment, I'll be right back with you, okay? Uh, okay, officer. <laughs>
Well, that's the first time I've been given an eye exam in, in uh, a video game. Like, seriously, guys, come on. <laughs> I've been... This isn't even the scenario. I just came up here to get a gun, and yeah, I know it was stupid doing a U-turn in front of a cop, but I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Plus, I needed to go here. It was either that or cut off the grass, or turn left, like you said, but fuck it. No parking. Violators will be shot at owner's expense. This is literally a parking lot. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, motherfucker. Hey there, Walter. Here's your copy of that citation for you. Like I said, it's $100. Uh, uh, you can either fight it in court or just pay the pay the fine. It's also three points on your license, all right? So just so you're aware, you can't really be doing in, uh, intersections at U-turns. U-turns at intersections, okay? Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Okay, okay. And I understand you've been driving for quite a while, but uh, uh, just, a, just a word from me personally, I just take it easy on the road, okay? Some of the drivers that are around today uh, can be quite crazy, okay? Uh, okay, officer, here you go. <laughs> no, sir, no, no, no. I don't, we, uh, don't take cash on the roadside, sir. Oh, um, should I put it through the mailbox at the station over there? Uh, so on the back of the citation there, it, it gives you a few options of how to pay. There's electronic, which is the preferred method, or you can send a check to uh, to the Blaine County Sheriff's Office uh, citation department, okay? Oh, uh, okay, officer. I'll have a look at that later. Okay, okay, so no worries. Just just remember you've got 30 days uh, to pay it, okay? Or five uh, okay, uh, that's fine. Okay, okay, so. You enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy uh, going out in the wilderness, okay? Just stay safe for us, okay? Okay, you too, Steve. <laughs> okay, excellent. It's, uh, it's Deputy Rainey. <laughs> no, I'm old. I'm gonna hunch. That'll do. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, time to buy a gun and go get lost in the wilderness. What gun do I want? I certainly, definitely want a pistol. Um, I also want a flare gun. And a... I don't, know, I don't fucking know. I'm gonna have a musket, fuck it. Oh, I keep missing out the slash. Walter. Yeah, Steve. And uh, just before I go, just make sure you get that registration sorted out with the DMV, all right? Yeah, that's fine, officer. I'll I'll certainly look into it. <laughs> okay, make sure you get it done within the next hour, okay? Because you might get pulled over again. Uh, okay, no problem, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excuse me. I would like a map and a compass. Oh, and uh, uh, maybe a meteorite bar and some water. Okay, guys, I'll be honest. There is another reason why I came up here. Because this is Mount Gordo. And I want to... I kind of want to see the Gordo ghost. So, uh, I'm going to take a very slow walk up this mountain because I'm 100 years old. And uh, we're going to see if we can spot the ghost, which is... She's... I'm pretty sure she's about here somewhere. I'm gonna Google it as I walk up the mountain. Where does that path end? Over there. Yeah, we're gonna go up this way, 2027. So walk up long and around. I just realized how long this is gonna take. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was a lot smaller than that, I'll be honest. Oh well, we've got our supplies. We've got a map and a compass and some guns, so uh I'll bring you back in about two to three weeks when I've reached the top. If I ever actually reach the top, I could genuinely die of boredom. And uh, hopefully, the Gordo Ghost is there. That'll be interesting. Okay, but to put it in perspective how remote this area is, I'm 700 meters away from the nearest postal. And they're, they're pretty frequent, so I don't think I've ever seen that number higher than that without being in the middle of the ocean. 
And in fact, I'm not sure anyone in OCRP has ever come across this path. So, yay, something first. Yeah, we are seriously remote. We had some steep hills down there that we had to contend with, but overall we're doing okay. Uh, we're now coming up on 750 metres from the nearest postal. And it's taken about, I'd say, 10 minutes so far, so we're doing good. We're in good shape. Oh my god, there's a bear! <laughs> yep, yeah, reload. Motherfucker. <laughs> I can't hit it! <sighs> really? This bear is going to die. There it goes. Fucking bear. I almost died. It attacked me. Stupid. Back in my day, I would have kicked your ass. Bloody animals. I'm going to keep my gun out for a little bit. Yay! That's the peak, finally. Oh my god. That only took... 30 minutes. <laughs> I, I started walking and I just went, I'm going to regret this. I'm definitely going to regret this. I kept hearing like mountain lions off to the side, but I never saw one so I didn't shoot it or anything. But we're coming up to the, well I, I say this is the peak. There's this little lighthouse thing, well not lighthouse, but like cell tower on the right. And then the path goes up a little bit and then there's Cran Jolene Cranley's ghost which appears between midnight and, no, 11pm and midnight and uh, then I'm pretty sure we're about at the top, it's somewhere near the ghost so, uh, oh the path's starting to thin out now I know it's unrealistic for an old man to be running up a hill like this but, I mean, do you want to come and walk it? because <laughs> I got pretty bored yeah, so we're at the uh, I don't know what this is, probably a cell tower or something like that. Either way, you'd get good reception from it. Yeah, I'd say that's a cell tower. Oh my giddy and look how high up we are. There's Sandy over there, grapeseed. There's the highway, let's not fall down a cliff. God, you can see most of the state from here. Should get some good views up the uh, at the top. Okay, here's the actual peak. Let's see if we can spot what's going on in Sandy with our amazing camera that's in our back pocket that's apparently grey and brown now, rusted. Can we see any cops? I can see a few cars, but I don't know if any of them are cops. Any on the highway? There's a bird. My god, that's a bird. That's cool. Yeah, no no cops though. Can't spot anything happening. He just disappeared. That's awesome though. Can we see the city? Yeah, there's oh, that's a cop on. Where was that? Which one of you is a cop then? There's that bird. That's a really jank animation. <laughs> that's a cop. Oh, he just crashed. That guy's probably not there on his screen, though. Oh, and he disappeared. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I don't think I've ever been up here in uh, in OC. Right, somewhere around here is the Gordo Ghost. It's there somewhere. I think it's on that rock there. So we need to head down. Oh, I haven't even got a fucking map. I don't think there's any way for me to turn the little mini map on in the corner as well because that is basically an OCRP we treat that as GPS so you only get that in a car right it's by here somewhere what time is it? I don't actually know what the in-game time is ah oh, we just missed it it's 12 minutes past 11 no that means I'm gonna have to wait like 20 minutes to see it again yeah it's somewhere over here 
So I'm just going to wait here for like quite literally 20 minutes real time. Oh, I hope we get to see it. If not, I'm going to be really fucking disappointed. Okay, so I just realised something when I looked at the, the phone. OCRP runs off real time. It's 116, which is real time. I'm, I'm determined to see it, but I'm not waiting here for 23 hours. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So uh, we're just gonna plan. We're just gonna play on with the original scenario, which is me getting lost and fucking getting search and rescue. Okay, almost fell down a cliff then. So I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna try and run up here onto the path. In fact, no, I'm going to go to the, you know, the cell tower thing we saw. That would be a good place to get lost. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that that would hurt. Um, okay. I, uh, I pressed the... <laughs> I stopped the recording so I could go make a sandwich. And I pressed the... I can't remember what the key is called key to make me basically flop to the ground and I fell down a cliff so uh, that's that's not good uh, hello C can you hear me yes sir what's the location of emergency uh, I I don't know where I am I uh, I went for a hike and I fall and I f fell down uh, down the side of the hill here and I'm a bit I think I've hurt my leg do you know what mountain you're on? Yeah, it's Mount Gordon. Mount Gordon? Yeah, I, I drove my car past the lighthouse and I went for a walk up the mountain into the um, electricity station up here and okay. I just fell. You mean Mount Gordo, correct? Uh, it, it could be. Okay, do you see the highway? below you or no? Uh, I can see another big mountain but I can't see a highway. I'm near a rock. <laughs> Do you see the lighthouse? No, I, I think I'm on the other side of the mountain. Okay, I, I can so... see I can see a, uh, a tall mast like a, um, a telecommunication station. Okay, do you see the ocean from the side you're on or not? No, I, I don't believe I'm on that side of the mountain. Do you see uh, railroad tracks by any chance? Any train tracks? No, I, I'm I'm in a bit of a crevice. Okay. How injured are you? Like, what kind of injuries do you have? Uh, my my leg hurts. It's is bent and I cannot I can't straighten it. Okay, so this your leg. Anything else? Did you go unconscious? Are you no. bleeding anywhere? I just rolled down the side of the hill here, and I stopped underneath this big rock. Okay, and are you are you bleeding anywhere? No, I think it's just grazing. Okay. All right, we'll get a search and rescue team started, and we'll uh, we'll attempt to find you. Okay, I'm near the uh, mobile phone station. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it's not on the map. Do you know where you parked your car? Yeah, I drove past the lighthouse, but that was, that was a very long way away. I walked very far. Okay, so your car is parked at the lighthouse? Yeah, it's just around the corner from it. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll get some people started out to you, okay? No, okay, I appreciate it, young man. <laughs> not a problem. Call us back if anything happens, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I need to change back to civilian channel. So yeah, we um, fell inside of Mainden. I suspect they're going to get the helicopter up. That's like, There's no way they'll actually find me here. I, lit I couldn't have la landed in a worse place. I'm shaded by two massive boulders, and I'm next to another massive boulder. I can't see the highway, I can't see the train tracks. I can see Chiliad, but it's so far away it's blurry. This is probably the worst place. They're going to have a real hard time finding me. 
Which is quite funny, but either way, it's not quite what I planned Braille work. I just changed position a bit. I don't want to act like I'm dying. Just, I'm, I'm perfectly fine, I just can't walk my legs a little bit bent. So I decided to stoop her instead. I can kind of see Sandy Shores, so I might be able to see if they put a helicopter up. But I, I don't know how they're going to do this. It's actually going to be interesting to find out. I heard something then. It sounded like an engine. But either way, while I've been sat here waiting, I have come up with a new conspiracy theory. You see, it's currently 1.40 a.m. Yet it's sunny outside. So, there's only two places that happens. The North Pole and the South. We're in the South Pole, guys. It's flat Earth, honestly. The Sun doesn't rotate the Earth, or the Earth rotates and the Sun, whatever. It's all a lie. The Sun actually goes around the spinning disk and over the South Pole. And uh, it's as a result, it's lovely and tropical down here. I, I've solved it. I am proof that the Earth is flat. I've proved it indefinitely. There's no arguing. I cannot believe the government was lying to us all this time. <laughs> round Earth. Look, that doesn't look that doesn't look round to me. It's flat. Of course, it's flat. Jeez. For a hundred years, I've been taken an idiot. I trusted people, and they lied to me. That's a cool pattern on the bottom of the shoes. <laughs> Little details like that. But yeah, the government's been lying, guys. Here is proof, indefinite proof, that the Earth is flat. I just remembered that I have a flare gun. Um... There's one. And there's two. Shoot one over that direction. And lie back down. On this flat earth. <laughs> Ranged earth. <laughs> Idiots. I'm going to shoot a flare every five minutes real time. To try and attract their attention. And hopefully they'll be able to rescue me. So yeah, shoot a flare. And then when I run out of flares, I'll start shooting bullets. Fuck it. Just shoot the rock or something. Might as well have lunch while I'm up here. I'm going to have a sandwich. Let's just use this bad boy. And a bottle of water. And it did the animation to stand up. Of course it did. Well, since I'm stood up. Shoot one over towards the highway. Oh, oh, I hear sirens. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. They come right back down on me. Where is it? Oh, that's gone. Oh, there it is. And shoot one over there. Right, they've got a beacon now. They know roughly where I am. Hopefully, they'll be able to find me. Of course, finding me is one thing. Getting me is another. Because where I heard that siren, that's all the way down there on the highway, I think. So, how are they going to get me? I'm going to have a chocolate bar and shoot my uh, shoot my flare up over that mountain just in case they're coming from this direction oh no the weather just took a turn right, I'm going to fire off a flare while they might still have a chance to see it Getting desperate now. <laughs> it's raining. 
I'm gonna hide under, crawl under this rock and sit back down. Hopefully they'll be able to see that. Shooting flares wherever. Come on guys. Oh, that's a gun. I've run out of flares. Oh, this, this is getting better and better. Ah, shit. I've completely run out of flares. Like, I know I made this hard for them, but it's been 20 minutes now. In a real search and rescue where every minute counts, so you're like, ah, please come and help me soon. Oh well. I would be really cold in this situation. Oh? That's a helicopter. Where is it? There it is. Please spot me. I'm behind a rock. Please spot me. I'm going to crawl out from under the rock. No. God damn it. Right, they see me. Uh, I can't see it anymore. There it is. They found me. I'm so happy. <laughs> now they just gotta find a way to get me. Is there someone at the main end? No. There it is. I think they're gonna put someone that yeah, they're gonna put someone down by there and see if they can get me up to the top. God, that's cool. These helicopters are amazing. I can just see the corner of it there. There's the blades. They're about to send some people down to come and help me. Hello! Hello! Hello, sir. Oh, hi. I hurt my How leg. Hey, get your thermal blanket over here. Alright, sorry, yep. we're here to help you, sir. I was hiding under the rock. Your leg that's hurting? Yeah, I, I fell down the hill here. Alright. We're gonna keep you warm here, we don't want you to get any, uh, any hypothermia. Hey, you are you with us? Yeah, I've just hurt my leg, that's all. I was okay, looking for a so. ghost. We're, we're gonna... Hey, do you have okay, a split okay, on so. for his leg? Or his knee? Yeah, yep, I think there's one in his bag. Alright, luckily you're, you're doing pretty well for your condition, sir. You haven't been sitting here in the ring for too long. Yeah, well, as I said, I was under the rock. Yeah, you're one, you're one tough motherfucker, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, my my grandson sure. tells me that. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna put this splint on your knee, okay, and then we're gonna help you uh, uh, back up the hill. Oh, that's that's gonna be difficult. <laughs> uh, I understand that, sir, but uh, we've got a scoop we can put you in, okay? Okay, I am a hundred and one years old. Okay, doctor. Splints knee. Might be a bit painful, sir. Okay, I just got to splint it so it doesn't doesn't uh, go out of place anymore. Okay. Yeah, I was shot three times in the war. I'm, I'm used to dealing with pain. 
All the ladies say I look good for my age. Especially Doris, I think she likes me. <laughs> Alright. You want to help me get him on the uh, the backboard? Yeah, for sure. Here, can you, can can you just roll this so I can get hold of this pull on the uh, backboard so it fully extends for me? Yep, yep, you know, for these, sure. com these compactable ones are a pain in the ass to get open by yourself. They are, yep. There we go. I'll grab this end if you just want to pull it. Alright, sir, we're gonna, we're gonna carefully move you on. If anything else hurts when we move you, just please let us know. Uh, did you get a C collar on him by any chance? I, d I don't want to cause any neck injuries. Ah, uh, nah, I have an old grab one out now. I'm going to wait for them to put me in the helicopter. And then I'm going to tell them about the, the lie. Okay, like I said, sir, these aren't built for comfort, okay? It's just to keep your neck stabilised, alright? Yeah, uh, they, they can't be worse than the, he the nursing home beds. Okay, Probably maybe not. they're a bit worse. <laughs> okay, like I said, we're just going to get you strapped into this, onto the backboard. Is anything else hurting? No, just my leg. Okay, like so. All right, so we're gonna move you up here in about three seconds. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Here we go, and slide you on. All right, let's get you up. All right. Thank you. Raise your raise your pole to get up, get up here safely. Boy. Thank you, uh, gentlemen, yeah, for arriving so quick. No worries, sir. Uh... God, this is a steep hill. <laughs> oh, shit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think we may have a problem. We have the safety repel. Alright, let's get him fully up. Yeah, you guys are very strong. Uh, the, the rope's doing most of the work. Uh, it's very inconvenient falling off a mountain, I find. That's okay. Oh, a helicopter. I haven't been on one of them since NAM. <laughs> yeah, well, they haven't changed much since then. Well, yeah, right, what can you change you about it? We're starting our starting IV drip to keep you hydrated. We're going to take you to CLS, so we'll be there in a bit. Problem's clear. I did learn something very important while I was waiting. We, we've What's been that, lied sir? to our whole lives. The, the Earth is actually flat. Because there was daylight and it was the middle of the night and I could see all around the world. It, it must be flat. <laughs> I get it, sir. The, the government's been lying and the teachers and... I can't wait to tell my grandkids about this. Okay, look, so well, that, uh, that'll be something you can talk to the doctors about, okay? Yeah, I can't believe I've been naive for a hundred years. <laughs> I love talking nonsense. That's understandable, sir. <laughs> Just try and have a rest, okay? You've uh, had a lot of uh, trauma, okay? Uh, I can't sleep without my cigars. Okay, okay, so just try your best for us. <laughs> Usually they're like, no, no, stay awake. Now they're just like, go to bed, old man. Are you in any pain at the moment, sir? Yeah, my my knee is considerably aching. Okay, okay, so are you allergic to anything at all? Yeah, penicillin. I haven't had that for years, and when I do, I swell up like a balloon. Okay, okay so I won't give you that. I'm going to give you some uh, morphine, okay? 
Uh, okay, officer. I get extra. <laughs> Hops in back of helicopter, make sure everything is secure, placing a new film blank and start an IV drip. Oh, what does that stuff do? Okay, so it's going to take away your pain, alright? Oh, it feels really nice. Can we actually get into the hospital this way? You could base jump off here. Just saying. Hey, Rick, so how's that pain going at the moment? Mm, it is really relaxing, actually. Okay, dokie, so we're going to get you out on this backboard into the trauma team, okay? You're not drugging me so I forget All the earth's right. flat, are you? You're not in on it. Not at all, sir. I believe you. Okay, dokie, so we're going to hand you over to the trauma team here. They're going to take care of you, okay? Alright, anyway, guys. <laughs> the earth is flat. You heard it here first. Oh, piss off. <laughs> I give up but um, thank you anyway for watching and make sure you check out my Twitch there is a link in the description and uh, if you're a part of my Discord it'll send you notifications when I go live I've started live streaming again obviously and uh, it would be amazing to see you guys over there and I will see you next time peace out guys <laughs>